<laughs> Gosh. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to The Nest. This is a new episode, and we have a new guest, my lovely sister-in-law, <laughs> Irmalis Osorio. Hello. Alex's sister. Um, and we are actually in Miami. We've been here. Well, I've been here since Thursday. You guys have been here since Friday. Friday. And um, the purpose of us being here in Miami is because I'm actually having surgery. Um, and full disclaimer, for those that do not agree with plastic surgery, that is on you. So if you don't want to watch this, don't watch it. Keep scrolling. If you do, like, subscribe, leave your comments. So now to the nitty gritty. Pretty much... Um, I am getting an implant removal an implant removal because seven years ago yep seven years ago I had um, a breast augmentation and um, after having my son two years ago um, I actually had what the doctor explained um, was abnormalities with my implants. Um, so he would have to remove them and also do a capsulectomy. Um, because what is a capsulectomy? So capsulectomy is um, when they remove the implant and they have to clean the inside of the breast because it created a capsule. Okay. So it's being removed. Um, and that's literally it that, of what's happening there um, so that they heal. And then, of course, in the future, if I want to add implants again, then I can. But I have to have them removed um, because the both implants have actually um, burst. So they're leaking. The fun part. Um, so, yeah, I'm having that done tomorrow. I have to be at the facility by 6 a.m., and we have some more things happening, um, doing a full LiPo 360, some other stuff, and going from there. <laughs> um, so I've been planning this for, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Um, but I finally found a doctor that I like and I'm very comfortable with. Um, and surgery's tomorrow, so... It's been a little dirty this weekend. <laughs> yeah, from Thursday to, to today. Today's Tuesday. So, the... Wait, what's today's date? Tuesday. Tuesday the 12th. So why has it been a journey? Do you want to talk about that? From... It's, it's on, on like, like from this weekend. Only because I feel that it is important for those people that want to get it. Mm -hmm. and don't really take care of themselves or have issues with um, their iron and, and taking vitamins and minerals so, and all that. I, one, I think one of the biggest issues that I've had is my hemoglobin. I have very low iron. Um, I am anemic. Uh, and one of the things that they require to have any surgery under general anesthesia is to have your hemoglobin above 11.5 if it's less than 11.5 you automatically um, have to get cell saver which cell saver is while you are under general anesthesia they the the blood that you lose gets put through a system through a machine which essentially sanitizes it and gets put back into your body um which that is one thing that I'm doing as well. But the lovely journey that I've gone through has been very, very interesting, um, to say the least. I have done a total of four labs um, of CBC to, to collect my hemoglobin levels to see where I stand. And my first um, initial labs, it was 10.9. And I immediately started doing supplements and vitamins to try and raise it up. I did um, iron pills, vitamin C, um, 
I even did a punch that was beet beetroot, fresh beetroot with fresh pineapple, which I actually liked. I thought it was really good. Um, and I did that for several days. Um, I also did a like the malt syrup. I forgot what it the actual brand of it. Um, but I'll I'll definitely show you guys in this video as well. Um, I did that and it had it's a concoction of hemoglobin B12 and iron and it does not taste very good but nothing that she's done this weekend <laughs> smells good um, I haven't tasted any of it but we'll get to that part in just a minute <laughs> yeah so I did that and surprisingly when I did my blood work again um, it actually lowered. So it went from 10.9 to 10.1. Um, and within all of this, the coordinate, the surgical coordinators have been staying in contact with me, minimal contact, I have to say, but they have been staying in contact with me, letting me know that my hemoglobin has to be higher in order to have surgery. So initially my surgery was set for um, April 8th, but got postponed because of my hemoglobin. Um, so on August, um, August, on April 8th, I went to the facility and they had recommended for me to get an, another iron inf infusion, which I had already had one. Um, I did an iron infusion and then I also did, um, I, was it a B12 shot? Was what I it, it had a little bit of a few things, but B12 was the main one was on the main there, one. and vitamin C and other stuff. Yeah. Was that on the 8th, though? Like No, no, no. Then, when they told you? That, the 8th was when they told me about my iron being at 10.1 and that I needed to go and um, do the infusion. So I did the infusion. That was Friday when they told me I needed that. So they told me to do it on Monday, which was yesterday. I did that. Um, and in the meantime, they also recommended that I start taking Floridix. Um, Floridix is literally liquid iron. Um, and you can't really... It smells bad. It smells horrible. And I only it served it. It bad. It honestly... It smells bad. It, it honestly, as crazy as it sounds, it tasted like you were licking rusty metal. Like the smell of it and, and the taste, like just the whole concoction is just devastating. Um, so you can't really get it at a Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You actually have to get it at, um, I don't really know how to say that, like a whole... Like you can get it like at Botanicas. I don't know yeah. how to say that in English. Just Botanicas. And you could also get it like at these home pharmacies... Um, like them what are they called like the corner pharmacy yeah like a personal personally owned pharmacy um i did find it on amazon as yes. well they do have it on, at, is it about the same price i paid 43 dollars for the bottle Shh, don't say that okay <laughs> um amazon has it for it's like helpful. 39 so it's only like three dollars difference but we needed it right away so yeah so i was able to find it there um and i also purchased um i it's called li lipos 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 vitamin c it's liquid and it's bright yellow um which i'll it show you it doesn't smell guys. bad it doesn't smell it bad it doesn't smell bad it's actually citrus but the one that i have also has the taste of vanilla it smells like vanilla it's yes but it's it's weird because vanilla is like sweet but then citrus is very citrusy and it looks so thick it honestly that's probably the hardest thing to take down i have to take that first to then take the the floridix so that the floridix can die down the flavor of the citrus and vanilla it's ugh. it's not easy to take um, so I started taking that three times a day, which normally it's once or twice a day. That twice. Twice a day that you're supposed to Not only to take that, it. it says uh, 10 milliliters or whatever that's called. And yeah. I always poured her 15. Yeah. Just so. because the drive was long. <laughs> <laughs> and it, the journey yeah. was long. So we were getting this. Yeah, it was one of and those And we, things. I mean her. 
<laughs> we because you've been so much a part of this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been doing that three times a day. I also did the infusion, um, the B12 and C comp. I think it was a C complex shot, something like that. B C complex, yeah. Um, so I did all of that, and then this morning, um, I went did my blood work, and by about three had already received the results and it brought it from a 10.1 to an 11.4, which is great. Um, although I have to get cell saver, which is something I wanted to do anyways, um, I am now fully cleared to have surgery. And although she is fully cleared, she's still taking the vitamin yes. C um, and she's still taking the iron. The Floridix, yeah. Yes. I'm still taking all of it, which they still recommend. The doctor even recommended that I continue to take it um, because it will help with recovery for, for the procedure. Um, so as of one good thing that I have to say about all of it is um, the facility that I went with, they are very adamant on making sure that you are healthy, that you are in good standings, that you get a full medical clearance from a primary doctor, um, and that they have that fully signed off. You get a chest x-ray, EKG, full labs, and that has to be provided uh, at least a week to two weeks before surgery. Um, and since we had initial plans to do something completely different from this and since those plans changed when i booked surgery it was within three weeks of today so i had to make sure that i cracked down and get all of it done before my surgery date which i'm amazed and proud that i was able to get all of that done so um so now we're here tomorrow 6 a.m i don't even know what time it is right now it's still tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it's still tomorrow, so it's ten. It's ten fifty-two. Um, so I gotta definitely crack down, go to sleep um, tomorrow morning. Oh, you'll have a lot of sleep tomorrow. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna sleep nothing tonight because I'm gonna be thinking about this. Um, but really, working, waking up super early, taking a very good shower from head to toe with antibacterial soap because that's one thing you'll need, and. We'll see what happens tomorrow. She has to be there at 6. 6. Yep. By the way, uh, 6, and it's what, 13 miles away? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 13 40, miles away, which is... About 45-minute drive. <laughs> a 45-minute drive, as crazy as that sounds. So if you guys ever think of coming to Miami to do anything, uh, get something that's a mile away from your location. That would probably be a... 20 minute ride. <laughs> Gosh, Literally. I thought I-4 traffic was bad. No. Miami, Hialeah, horrible. Stay in, Fort Lauderdale wasn't bad. No. Fort no. Lauderdale traffic is not bad. Coming down, anything going up is horrible. Yeah, no, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't like it. Hey, well, but... we waited for the infusion. At least we got to go see yeah. Crazy of Miami, South Beach true another one little thing i'll throw out there is if you ever get an infusion take the whole day off do not plan anything around any of it four hours hold on four 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 hours doing uh, an infusion yeah so keep that in mind there's a lot that goes into this so keep that in mind um but yeah that is right now what we have going on um There'll be more to this video, so... The pre-packing? Pre yes, we. I'll show you what I packed, um, and... What she's taken, so you guys can see what it looks like. Yes, and what I've prepared for, and afterwards I will show you what I actually needed versus what I bought. So we'll kind of see what, what happens on that part, hopefully. The aftermath. Hopefully <laughs> I use everything I got, because, God... Um, it's, it's worth it though. It truly is. Um, this has been a long time coming, so we'll see. I will keep you guys posted on all of it. I'll do follow-ups with you guys, good updates, but for right now, um, this video will keep going with what will happen tomorrow and after. So stay tuned. 
like, follow, leave your lovely comments, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.